President Biden is facing backlash from some progressive allies for his efforts to avoid a national rail strike. Rail workers are threatening to walk off the job. They're asking for increased pay and paid time off. But President Biden is asking Congress to intervene to stop this possible strike in order to protect the economy during this very busy holiday shipping season. Weisha Zhang is at the White House with more on the story. Weisha, good morning. Things are getting very tense in this situation. Good morning, Yao. Good morning to everyone. Well, you know, bipartisanship is such a rarity these days that when there is some, it's a big deal. And Democratic and Republican leaders agree that a rail strike would be devastating to the U.S. economy, and that's why they are scrambling to prevent one. President Biden sat down with the top four congressional leaders for the first time since the midterm elections. He told them it was not an easy call, but he thinks they have to halt collective bargaining to protect the economy. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said the House would vote today to adopt a tentative agreement that the administration brokered back in September. Four unions have voted against it. The contract includes a 24 percent raise over five years, but workers want paid sick leave, which progressives support. Senator Bernie Sanders tweeted that he intends to block the bill, saying of the paid sick leave, quote, please don't tell me that the rail industry can't afford it. Rail companies spent $25.5 billion on stock buybacks and dividends this year. If rail workers walk off the job, it could mean even more financial pain for the average American already dealing with high inflation. It could wreak havoc on the supply chain and delay getting goods to store shelves, which might lead to prices going up on just about everything right before Christmas. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said that he is working to get enough votes to pass the legislation. He's not sure if he's there yet. If Congress does not intervene, the strike could start next Friday. Tony. All right, Weijia, we will be watching. Thank you very much.